Sykes advances to the semi-final round. They have eight cars here. With Phil Riker coming up next. Riker with gorgeous Camaro that has a 434 cubic inch traditional small block Chevy engine with a lot, and I'm talking a lot of nitrous to it. He will spray this thing up with a 700 horsepower when the Keyblade Classic case of emergency calls come to need it. And then there's Gary Tripp, Tripp from Imperial, Missouri, the 1969 Camaro Ford Tripp. Beautiful car with its vinyl roof. One of the reasons people love this style of drag racing is because the cars are very true to form. They run stock bodies. They don't have a lot of stretch wheelbase stuff. The engines are typically the uh, small block style engines. They're allowed basically. Field run, but that sure looked like a 
good run. Dan Stevenson's car smoked the tires early and then he got back on the throttle. He goes 9 to 20. But you'll notice the speed came up on the AAA insurance side at 164. And also notice some of the interested observers down there. It's like a pro stock. It's like a pro stock cocktail party on the starting line. And Greg and Jason and Bo and Tanner. Tanner's not old enough to be a cocktail party, is he? Okay, well. He, he can have that. Drew Skelman, of course, does his dad in the car. I try to convince her. Like, no, Nick Mitchell, I'm done. It's like, it's like a bro stock cocktail party. Everybody wants to come over and watch the factory stock show down. Maybe he's been doing this for quite a while. In that car, as a matter of fact, 1983 Camaro. He's been racing since 1975. That might not have been quite 1975, but it's been a while. And for those of you that are wondering, yes, I have one of those Barry Awake things, and I have like.